Hi everyone, it's Anthony and Rachel Hi. from Don't Crop Me Now. It's November the 6th and the weather has started to turn in the UK. We're getting winds and it's starting to get a little bit chilly. So we are in the greenhouse to pick the chilies. So we're going to pick all the chilies from the greenhouse today. That is the Apache variety, the Thai super hot, jalapeno, some more Apache behind me, but more importantly, all the long chilies. Now, if you'd like to comment and hazard a guess as to how many long chilies there's going to be, obviously we're going to count them at the end and we'll see if anybody gets even remotely close. We also have absolutely no idea. We've decided that we are going to pull the pots out one at a time, sit at this picnic bench and chop them off with pairs of scissors. The smaller ones can go straight into some large Ziploc bags to go home, but there's going to be so many, I think, of the, the large chilies. Not actually that many on that plant compared to some of the others. Um, I think we might need to package them up on a tray or something and maybe bring them home tomorrow. We are going to attempt to overwinter a few of these plants just because they've been really successful plants with a lot of chilies for us this year. There are quite a lot of videos all over YouTube with the techniques of how to do this, so we're not going to go into this. However, I will put a link in the comments to some of the other videos that I know are really educational on the different techniques that you can use to overwinter chilies. What I'm going to use is the method where you basically chop them back to a little bit of a stalk, and then you're going to leave that somewhere that's frost free, ideally not that cold, we're going to put them on our kitchen worktop um, and I will take them out of this massive pot, um, room pr root prune them a little and then put them in a smaller pot just so we can physically fit them on the worktop. So you can see Anthony has taken all the jalapenos off, although we've missed one here. And this is what we have got off that one plant and we have been picking a few from it. So not too bad. If you have a good look at the plant, you can see that it's got a, quite a woody stem and then it comes out on these other stems. So this one's actually a really good shape for saving because what you want is a nice open shape without too many cross, crossing branches. It's very similar to a tree or a bush really. So all I'm going to do is as a starting point, I'm just gonna cut this down to wherever we have a V shape if Anthony comes in like a V here so you come coming up and you go to a V that's what I'm going to cut it off as because they will then branch out into a larger structure for us so I think there I'm going to do that bit there is not an exact science to this going to take that one out because it's definitely crossing right across the middle so we don't really want that one I do try to cut after where you've got a leaf node coming out I was thinking about how harsh I was going to be really. Um, let's go for there. So it, it's quite a harsh pruning in a lot of ways, but that should be a nice shape for a plant. I don't know if we'll get 100% success with these plants overwintering, but it's worth a shot really. It's free plants for next year and they can have a really good head start on setting chilies earlier in the season and then you can get a longer season of getting your fruits which is really great. These are the Apache plants which are absolutely covered. One of our favourite chilies although they can be rather hot. This is one of the Thai hots which look is really a pretty tall plant. It's a good couple of foot plus and a lot of chilies on that so hopefully we will be able to overwinter that one. Anthony is still working away there on the Apache. I've done about three plants in that time because the Apache has got so many chilies on. And that was from a couple of plants. 
but as you can see they're really productive. We have now moved into the greenhouse after working over on the picnic bench because as I'm sure you can hear and you can see on that roof it has started to rain. We've finished picking all the long chilies. Rachel is just finishing the Thai soup hot, so there's just two small bushes of those left. We've got a bag of Thai soup hots there and a bag of what? Jalapeno. Right. And then over here, just behind us, we've got two long chilli plants that need pruning now they've been picked. And there is the resulting pile of long chilies. So we'll take that home and count them. So now we've got most of the plants down to this type of small structure. What I'm gonna do is take these pot plants out of the larger pots, use some of the compost that are already in. We don't wanna put them in some rich new compost and then pot them up into some smaller pots like this that can be taken home to put on the windowsill. So we finished potting up all these chilies for overwintering. I don't think we're going to keep all of these, but I'm going to attempt to give them away because they're really good plants and all the people on our allotment ground might appreciate having a go at keeping them over winter. So these are our long chilies. The rest of the greenhouse has been pr pretty much tidied out. It's a lot tidier now. Surprising really that this number of plants completely filled the greenhouse, which is crazy because they were so big. They will not be left here for long, they are going to come home, but I think we'll leave them overnight. We can come back with the car, put them all in the boot and take them home and find places in our house or in other people's homes. Take care everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. It only takes a minute, but it really helps our channel. Bye. Bye.